Hello, this is the final episode of the series, the sixth series of the basic math problems I've chosen to make life easier for many of our students from grade school through college. To make life and uh, math less threatening and make them have more faith and confidence in their abilities. Math is a universal language. Language, one plus one is two anywhere in the world, whatever dialect or language you speak. Now, the last problem here is about slopes and intercepts and graphs. When you're given a problem like this, how do you find the y-intercept, the x-intercept? How do you recognize the graph? Is it a positive or negative slope? So let's see. When you have a problem like this, always make y the subject of formula. Because x, whatever is beside x, is going to be the slope and whatever the whole number is, is going to be the intercept. So we move everything to the other side. And don't forget, whenever you move a number across the equal to sign or greater than sign, it must change its sign. Positive becomes negative, negative becomes positive, multiplication becomes division, and division becomes multiplication. So let's look at this. I want to keep my positive 3y exactly where it is. That means my positive 4x goes over there to become a negative 4x. And my negative 18 moves over there to be a positive 18. Now I'm ready to go. I want y by itself. So I'm going to divide everything by 3. This is a multiplication. To get y by itself, I must divide by 3. So I'm going to divide this by 3, divide this by 3, and divide this by 3. Positive 3. If it was a negative, I divide everything by negative 3. So 3 cancels 3, and I have my y. That's what I wanted, y by itself. And I have a negative 4 over 3x, and plus 6, 8, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So my inter y intercept is plus 6. My slope is negative 4 over 3. So what kind of a graph am I expecting? It's a negative slope. So I'm expecting this kind of graph. If it's a positive slope, it rises from left to right. If it's a negative slope, it slants from left to right. If it's zero, it's a horizontal slope. Obviously, your ground has no slope. It's flat. And if it's standing up, it's undefined. That's stupid. How can a wall standing be considered a slope in any way? So it's undefined. So let's plot this on the graph. What would the graph look like? The intercept is positive 6 y-intercept. So on the y-axis, the x-axis, the y-axis is the vertical and the x-axis is the horizontal. So the y-intercept uh, is at 6. Let's make this 6 right there. That's where the graph is going to call the y-intercept at 6. So now we're going to count. Let's make this. Let's make 6 plus 6 right here. So I'm going to go up 4 times. Or you can go down. I like going up. So from plus 6, if I go up 4 times, I get to 10. That's the point right there. So for, uh, the intercept here, I, plus 4 goes to um, 10. And then 3 goes left or right. If it's a positive slope, it goes to the right, to the positive axis of x. This positive, this negative x, this positive y, and this negative y. But if it's a negative, it goes to the left of x. So it's a negative 3, so I'm going to go negative 3. So it's right here. So this was the intercept. I went up 4 times, and then I moved over 3. So this is my graph right here. And it's a negative graph, it's a negative slope graph, which is supposed to be the case. Always mark out your y-intercept. The number is on top, you always go up. You can go down, but I recommend you go up. So four, 6 plus 4 is 10. And it has to go left 3 times because of this negative, so you come here. So here 4, here 3. So that's your slope, that's how you do it. Always. Well, my last advice is this for the end of this series. 
I used very bad in math as a little child, but today I'm a math teacher. Or I used to be a math teacher, and I'm very comfortable with math. In fact, I scored a 750 out of 800 in my GR in the math portion of my GRE. If I told a lot of my classmates when I was young, I scored that high. I think that was like a 80 something, 85 or 86 percentile. They would think I'm joking, I'm lying, but it happened. You can do it too. Okay? Don't let anybody discourage you. When you see something wrong or people being oppressed or looked down upon, be it their race, gender or religion, you have to speak up. Because that child or that person being isolated or ignored because society expects you to treat him that way might be as good as you, if not better, if he's given a fair chance. Here I am today, a terrible math student when I was young, comfortable enough to teach you math on the internet and in your schools, even at college. So please, do this math, and I hope I was able to make it easy for you. God bless, and enjoy.